everyone welcome back so today we'll be checking out another wallet from the company akini and this one here is their AirTag wallet a shout out to akini for letting me get my hands on it before release the wallet comes nicely packaged as usual and this time around it comes with a very tiny allen wrench that will be the tool that you will need to undo the back plate the wallet incorporates the same design as the extra wallet and the only difference here is the hump on the back this is a dedicated slot to hold the air tag this wallet is still made from 100% metal and it still has the powder coating that gives it a very durable look and feel. I like the textured look of this wallet. The Extol AirTag wallet clocks in at roughly 43 grams and that is only 1 gram heavier than the original Extol wallet so that is nice. This measures roughly 183 millimeters thick without the back plate housing and it clocks in at around 24.1 millimeters thick with the housing. The AirTag housing adds about 5.8mm of thickness, even with the added AirTag housing plate, it is still a pretty compact wallet. The extra wallet is fully customizable and it gives you the option to choose between 6, 8 or 10 cards. I went with the one that can hold 8 because it gives me enough room for the 6 cards that I carry with me daily and for some cash. You can slide in all your cards in at once from either side and it has a very satisfying click when it slides into place. What I like most about this wallet is how fast you can select the cards that you want to use. You can push the cards out to the side one by one and then fan them out and see which one you want to select. I recommend keeping the card that you use most often at the top or at the bottom of the stack since it will be the fastest one that you can access. This wallet is easy to use whether you are left handed or right handed. This is what the extra wallet looks like with only 6 cards in there. The cards stay in there securely. And this is what it looks like with 8 cards. You will notice that there's a small gap on top here and this spot is reserved for the cover plate. So in reality the extra wallet with the configuration of 8 cards, it can actually hold 9 cards since the 9th card is intended to be the cover plate but if you choose not to use it then you can carry 9 of your own cards. To carry cash in here you will have to fold the bills into thirds. The cash slides in super easy, you simply push the stack of cards to the side with your thumb and do the same to take it out. The amount of cash that this can hold will depend on how many cards you will keep in the wallet. With my 6 cards in it, I can keep about 10 bills with no issues. Now if I put in 8 cards, it does get a little tight. Now your credit cards will end up getting damaged on the ends and corners from the friction when you slide them into the wallet, but I don't see it as a big issue since I end up replacing most of my cards every 2-3 to three years for free. This can also hold some business cards in the bag and it comes with a carbon fiber business card cover that looks great on this. I don't have any business cards so I just keep my driver license back here and any other cards that I don't use as often. You can keep 3 cards back here and you can squeeze in 4 as long as they don't have any race numbers uh, but it will be a little tight. If you plan on keeping 1 or 2 cards back here, I recommend sliding the business card cover over it to keep it in place. This will keep it secure from sliding out. So in total this compact wallet can hold up to 13 cards. Now moving on to the AirTag housing. The back plate is very simple to remove. You simply remove the business card cover and then you remove the inner carbon fiber spring cover. And once you got this off, you can access the four screws that you will need to undo with the provider allen wrench. Now you can simply pop in the AirTag into the housing and then put the plate back on and then screw it down. The tiny screws will sit flush with the body since they use countersink holes and they were very precise. Everything lines up and the screws go in smoothly. So this wallet is perfect for those of you rocking an iPhone. I personally use an Android, so I had to use my wife's AirTag to demonstrate. The wallet will wobble if you place it on its back, and since the AirTag is exposed, the AirTag will pick up some scratches. You can avoid this by placing the wallet face down on the table. The Exto AirTag wallet caters to minimalists and to those of you who own an iPhone. So if you wish to slim down that old traditional bifold wallet while being able to track it down when you misplace it, then this might be the wallet for you. Because of the metal construction, this is definitely a front pocket kind of wallet because it will be very uncomfortable in your back pocket when you sit down on it. Alright, so that does it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to drop a like and subscribe for more tech related videos and I will talk to you on the next one.